Hey guys, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Can't fish today. It's rainy. It is it's bad weather. So I'm going to finish up my Administrator's Help edition of uh, the Why Teachers Quit videos. I've had a couple before this that, you know, I talk about some things that administrators can do that will help teachers maybe not want to quit so much. So if you're a teacher and um, you hear this video and you think this is a good idea, you can always ask, uh, ask about this. But this is it. The last one is about administrators help and you can help by teaching. Now, if you're an administrator, you would assume that you have been a teacher. And one of the first things I said in these administrator help videos is that if you were not a good teacher, you do not need to be an administrator. Or if you were not an experienced teacher, you do not need to be an administrator. And a lot of teachers feel this way, especially teachers that have been in the uh, profession for a long time. They, uh, they like to hear from people that they feel have something to bring to the table for their job, to, that have experienced what they're experiencing. Because there are things going on the last 10 years that if, you, if you've been out of the classroom for 10 years, it's, it's not going to be what you remember. <laughs> being a teacher is way different than it was when, when I started. So, so, if you're an administrator, a way to not fall into that out of the classroom trap is to get in the classroom. And, uh, and I did this some, uh, especially toward the end of, of when I was an administrator. It was difficult for me to do this in high school when I was a high school administrator because, quite honestly, a lot of those teachers did not want me. They wanted to teach their class. They didn't, you know, they wouldn't want to uh, give up their classroom time. But my last uh, four or five years, I was in middle schools. Now, obviously, I'm not a math teacher. Uh, as a matter of fact, I used to call them the math magicians. Um, <laughs> they, they really uh, got a kick out of that. All you math magicians out there, uh, because I'm, I just don't know anything about math. I'm terrible at math, that kind of thing. So, obviously, they did not want me teaching their classes. But the classes I was qualified to teach, there's nothing wrong with me going into a room and um, starting to teach. I could do it if you have a situation where a teacher's having a hard time with, um, you know, certain aspects of their lessons. They're having a hard time with introductions. They're having a hard time, um, you know, with the flow of the lesson and going from one thing to another and being organized and, um, you know, just things like that. I could go in there and I could do that. And, um, it worked out really great. Now, a lot of you would look at that and you'd go, well, of course it worked out great because you're an administrator and the kids are all going to act right when you're in the room. That, um, again, if you've not been in, in education in a while, you might think that. But now I can assure you the way things are now and prior to COVID, okay, prior to COVID, we were doing, we were in teachers' classrooms 10 to 12 times a year just in the teachers I observe, just me going in there. And that's just the observations, not including the times I just went into their classrooms to get kids or just to kind of check things out. Or uh, And then you had observations from the school district. You had observations from all kind of people. Uh, I mean, it, it would be nothing for a student to have 30, 40 occasions where people were in the rooms with them observing a teacher. There's people in and out of their classrooms all the time. When I was a little kid and I was in elementary school, if the principal came into our classroom, as a matter of fact, the entire time I was in elementary school, I never remember one time a, a, an administrator coming into my classroom. Uh, I don't remember it in middle school and I don't remember it in high school. I don't remember an administrator stepping foot in any classroom for any reason. If they needed you, they would call you down to the office. But today, administrators and all kind of people 
are in and out of those classrooms constantly. And the kids are used to that. The kids are used to, you know, somebody coming and sitting in that room and watching their teacher. It's just part of education now. They've been conditioned to other people besides their teacher being in the room. And it does not make them uncomfortable, generally. It does not make them wonder what's going on. It's just part of being in a classroom. So they really don't act any different, uh, sad to say, because you would think that when an administrator comes in the room, they would kind of straighten up. And they do to a certain extent, but it's still not like it used to be. So uh, administrator teaching your class would not just automatically make all the kids act differently. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. So you really have an opportunity to go in there and teach. And um, by doing that, it helps you get across like there's something you're trying to show the teacher that, that, that um, you know, you just want them to see, then you can do that in practice. And you're not farming it off to, to sending them to another teacher to watch another teacher, although they do need to see other teachers. One of the best things that happened to me when I became an administrator is I had just assumed that all these other teachers were just awesome and that they taught and, and everything was perfect in their classes and all that. When I became an administrator and I started going into all these different teachers' classes, I started finding out they were not the teacher necessarily that I thought they were once I really started getting in and seeing. And that kind of opened my eyes to the way how people really are different. Teachers do things different ways. And I saw all kind of things that I wish I would have known when I was a teacher uh, that they did. And I was like, man, I wish I'd have known how to do that because I got to observe it. I got to see it. So you can let them observe some things that you can do. What do you bring to the table? Now, that being said, I would hope that as an administrator, you can teach uh, that you, you've you got some kind of game that you can bring to the table and you can go in there with that classroom of kids and get them focused on you and get them focused on what they need to do and just bring a good lesson, especially if it's just one. I mean, surely you could do one, you know, and, uh, and the same thing goes with if you're, you know, a while back, we got this kind of this really cool thing about how we're all learners and that the principal of the building is the lead learner and, and that it's all about learning. But, uh, you know, you're a teacher and it's about teaching because if you can't teach, they can't learn. And, you know, I know it's really cool. That's a really cool catchphrase and all that. It's all about learning. Uh, and it is all about learning I'm not going to disagree with that but you got to be able to teach and you know instead of being the lead learner maybe you ought to be the lead teacher in your building because if you can teach those teachers the teachers can teach the kids you know if there's something you want to get across and something you want them doing you need to be able to teach them how to do it and you don't need to be farming it off to other people if you don't have to now I realize principal is a little bit different than an assistant principal but you, you need to get in those classrooms. And I'm going to tell you, when you go in there and you teach and the teacher sees it, the teacher's like, you know what? They can teach. You know, they, they think you are they think you were a born administrator and that you're like an administrative robot and you just go around and you administrate and you never, you don't understand anything about what they're doing. You have no idea how, you know, how to run a classroom. But if you do, do it. Show them that you do it. That, that's going to help you. It's going to help the teachers and the way they view you uh, and, and you and, and here's the thing, most administrators have a really good rapport with students because you know who they deal with all the time? Are the students that are in trouble. And they know all those students and they know all about them. They know more about them a lot of times than their teachers do. And they have a rapport with students that even the teachers don't have in some cases. And you go in that classroom and you build that rapport with all the, with all the students, it can't do anything but help you. Now, again, if you're not a good teacher, you better not, you don't need to do that, obviously. But uh, I, I promise you, it helps. It helps the teacher, it helps you, it helps the kids. You don't have to do it every week, but I, really, all you got to do is do it once or twice a year, and it goes a long way. And, uh, and when you teach the teachers, bring your A game to make it entertaining for them, to make it where it's not so boring, you know, use your ability. Your, your teaching ability to help them when you're having to do all this profession. And I know it's a drag. I know some of that stuff. And some of it you don't even believe. Some of it you got to teach people and you don't even believe it. Uh, but you still have got to do your best job teaching. You need to be the lead teacher. So um, 
that's the last video I'm going to do about administrators help uh, there's lots of things I could go through and say I don't know if any administrators watch my channel I probably not it's probably mainly teachers but um, you need to understand as, as a teacher you know that administrators are you know a lot of them are still teachers at heart and if they're not then that's just part of the system and you got to know how to deal with them you know that's that's the way it is but hopefully you have an administrator that still is a teacher and they love to teach i always you know loved to teach I, you know now i like to be an administrator and i, I like doing that i mean that was right up my alley the things that we did for that so i don't regret that i did that in you know all those things i i'm, I'm glad that i was an administrator because i learned a lot but um don't get away from teaching if you're an administrator and teachers don't let them get away from teaching if you have an administrator and you know they really like a certain subject and they're really good at it, invite them into your class and say, hey man, why don't you come teach my class today? We got, uh, or you know, better yet, a couple of weeks ahead of time, say, hey, in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be doing a unit about whatever and I know you really like that. Why don't you come in and teach one day? I think the kids would really get a kick out of that. I'd enjoy it. And see if they'll come in, see if they'll take you up on it. Um, a lot of them, you might be surprised, they probably will. And there were times where I was in a class just kind of hanging out, doing whatever, and the teacher would start talking about something, and I'd raise my hand, and I'd be like, hey, do you mind if I talk about that? And I'd jump in there, and I'd start teaching. Or I'd help the teacher teach because I wasn't in there for an observation. I was just in there, you know, you need to be in that classroom. So um, take advantage of them. Get them in there. Let them teach your class a little bit and see, you know, see if they know what they're talking about and it'll help you in the way that you look at them if you know that they are a good teacher and some of them may not be and that's not good so <laughs> you'll just have to deal with that as you can anyway hope you guys enjoy it have a good day thanks for watching